now uh, let's go ahead and see how we can do the generic error handling so in order to like uh, perform this first we will create a file in the source directory which we will say error handler dot ts now inside this error handler what we are going to do is we are going to define a function we will say export const error handler and what this function will do this function will take a function as a parameter so we'll say method so it will take a method as a parameter so it will be of type function so it's an inbuilt type where like the function is an inbuilt type in typescript so it will take a method as a function now what it will return is it will return a controller function it will return a controller function so now what this controller function will do so in order to make a function a controller what we have to do is we have to pass three arguments request first will be the request response and next it will be of type next function so now it's a controller so inside this controller we want to say try sorry ah uh, why it's giving an error because it's not imported i guess yeah now here we will say try and catch now inside this try and catch we want to execute the method which we have taken as a parameter so we will execute that method and that method will also be a controller function so that method will be executed with all these parameters so request response and next so you can see that whenever we will define a controller we will pass that controller to the error handler and in return error handler is responsible for like executing that controller by wrapping it it inside a try and catch block and doing all the error handling out of the box so the benefit of this is we don't have to like write try and catch again and again we don't have to call next whenever there is an error so this is handled behind the scene with this control error handler so you can call this error handler as a high level function as, as well now inside this catch we have to do couple of checks here so we will say if So first we will say if this error is an instance of HTTP exception and if you remember this is HTTP exception is a class which we have defined ourselves. So if that error is an object of this HTTP exception it means like it's a handled error. We have ex explicitly thrown that error. That's why it's an instance of HTTP exception. So here we will create a variable let sorry let exception of type HTTP exception and we will assign this exception to error to exception so exception is equal to error now in case if it's not the instance of HTTP exception it means it's an unhandled error or the runtime error which we say because we haven't thrown it if we have thrown it explicitly it must be of type HTTP exception and if it's not the type of HTTP exception, it means it's an unhand unhandled error. That's why you have seen on certain websites, there is a error message which says something went wrong or internal exception. So these are the kind of error that are unhandled. So in order to throw that error, first we have to define one. So in the exceptions, we will create a file which will say internal exception dot ts and we'll say export class internal exception which extends http exception and inside the constructor a message of type a string and then we will have errors of type any and then we'll have error code of type uh, number now what we will do is we will say super 
and inside the super first we will pass message then we will pass error code and then the status code now the status code for internal exceptions or these are null exception is 500 and then we will pass the errors so this is how we define internal exceptions and in the root we will define the error code as well and we will say 3001 and let's change it to keep it consistent so we will say 3001 and now inside the handler what you say if error is not the type of http exception we will say exception is equal to and in the exception for we will define the object of that internal exception so we will say new internal exception inside the message we will say something went wrong this is the classic error message which you generally see on some websites some sorry something went wrong and inside the errors we will say error and inside the code we will say error code dot internal exception and now once everything is done we will call the next in the fun next function with this exception so this is how the error handling is done so you don't have to write try and catch this next again and again so this all will be handled behind the scene by this higher order function which you can just define now in order to like use this we have to go into the routes.ts file and where the place where you pass this sign up we have to wrap this sign up into the error handler sorry i guess okay so error handler will say sign up same goes with login as well error handler login so let's uh, summarize this so in the inside the error handler we have passed this controller which is sign up and inside this error handler like uh, it will return a function and that function will be a controller function because it takes three parameters request response and next function and this controller function is responsible for calling the original controller with try and catch and all the exception handling out of the box so if you go into the controller which is auth.ts uh, here like uh, we can like write simply this logic we can remove try and catch and we can simply use this so let's try to test it first so we'll go to this and let's see okay there is an error i guess the server is not running so let's run the server first and by the way you will get all the source code on the github so i'll give you the link that's what i was doing in the free time i was pushing the code to the github so let's say npm and start and see if there is any error so no so let's hit send now it's still giving an error that's fine okay so the server was like not a pap and running now it's working so you can see that uh, the error handling is working fine and if i change this okay seems like there is a still an issue and the issue is if i guessed it properly it should be an async function i guess async and we have to await this method call now i guess it should work and still cannot find name of it okay now let's see if it's working or not yeah it's working so it was a problem of facing and await so that's how it's it works like it is a very best practice to consider in the production you have you don't have to like repeatable code try and catch again and again so yeah i guess you learned something from this lecture now we will move, move forward and see define all other routes so the main focus of the next lectures will be first to define the role based access like the middlewares to control the role based access and the admin can perform certain actions and user can perform certain actions so we will deal with that so let's see you in the next lecture